and welcome back to Gapy's Grill Room. It's now 14 weeks since I started the first peppers of the season, and it's about a month away from getting these put into the ground. So here is what we have. We've got the ahi tangerine, these first two here, these are the Susan Garza crosses. And then next to that is we've got a Linzo. I think I only have one of these. This is a Kang Star cross, um, and it's doing really good, I think. Yeah, I did top that one a while ago, and it's just really bushed out pretty nicely. And then behind that we have an Ahi Fantasy, and that's doing pretty good. I did not top that one, so um, I may not top it at all. We'll see how, how it goes. And then we've got Thai Clusters. Um, this is a Thai variety that it grows in big clusters of peppers. So I've got a few of those, and I did top most of them. This one here I didn't top but I did top the, the one behind it. And I think there's another one back here. Yeah, I didn't top that one either. And then we've got the Trinidad Perfume, a sweet pepper. I didn't top that one. Um, I think that's the only one of those I have. And then next to that, I've got Kangstar's White Tie. And I've got four of those, I think, and I did top, I believe, all of those. So we've got these two here, and then I've got this one and the one behind it. So after topping, it's really starting to put out some new growth um, along the stem. And then we've got, oh, this is another King Star white tie. So I think I've got five of those going right now. Um, and then I've got some sweet peppers. These are the habanadas. And I didn't top any of those. They're not growing very tall and they haven't started putting out any flowers yet. So um, I may not end up topping those. Uh, we'll see how they do. And then, oh, that, that's also another habanada and no flowers that I can see yet. And then behind that we've got the Apache, and that's a dwarf pepper. And I just, I didn't really top that one, but it was getting some flower buds on the top that I just pinched off. Um, and I think I'll probably just leave it at that. And then we've got two Hot, Pop, Hot Pops Purple, which are an ornamental dwarf variety. And I just topped this one, I think today, so it hasn't really branched out too much. But the one behind it I topped a while ago, probably a few weeks, and it's just really gone gangbusters putting out new growth. And then behind that we've got Sugar Rush Red, and I topped one and I didn't top this first one. Um, but it, it is starting to fork, so I may I may end up topping that one. Then we've got a Lemon Drop that's growing pretty tall. It's probably due for a topping. And we got more Sugar Rush striped in the back there. And I did top that one a few weeks ago, so it's got some nice new growth coming out. And then we've got some Ahi Mango Long. And these were just, I just topped this one today, I think it was. And the one behind it was a few weeks ago, so it's putting out some new growth. And then we've got Ahi Mango Long. No topping on that one. Now you can see in the back one here, it's got a nice big set of flower buds that are just starting to come out. If you can see that kind of hard to see, but there's some flower buds in there, so I'm going to top that one, I think, right now. So I just topped that off. So you can see those flower buds forming. You don't want it to flower just yet. Um, I want to wait till they get in the ground before they flower, so I'm pinching those off. And then we've got a few varieties of paprika, and no topping on those, but I may, oh, that one in the back has a nice set of flower buds that I'm going to just pinch right off. So you can see there those flower buds we don't want. And then we've got some Korean gochu which I topped a few weeks ago. And then the, the rokotos. I've got four varieties of rokotos and they're all they're not looking as good as I, I would like. They're kind of the leaves are a little bit yellowy and they're kind of curling down a little bit. Um, I just repotted these into three and a half inch containers so I was hoping that would help but so far they're not looking too much better. So I'm not sure if it's a nutrient deficiency or, or what's going on with those, but I'm hoping they start looking a little better here pretty soon. And that's all the peppers here in this grow room. Now I'm gonna go take you to the other one. Here we are in the other grow room and this is the grow tent where I have all the capsicum chinense varieties. So I'm gonna turn off this pink LED light so we could see a little bit better. There we go, so that looks better. Um, one thing I forgot to mention in the other room and also in the last video 
is these 1020 trays. These are from Bootstrap Farmer and they're super tough. So those things are gonna last many, many years. Um, they're not cheap. I believe they're like $5 a piece. So I got 10 of those for $50. Um, again, that's pretty expensive for trays, but these things will last a lifetime. I mean, they're, they are super, super sturdy. Um, so I'm going to be reusing those for many years and I highly recommend those. And no, they didn't pay me or give me anything for free. Um, I just really like this and I heard about these from another pepper grower and I can't recall who that was, but, but I really like these 1020 trays. So we've got mostly peppers in the um, double cup solo cups in here. I do have a few that I don't have in solo cups here in the back corner and these are some of my extras. So I've got some let's see a Hobito peach. That's my um, the cross that I got from um, that I grew out from Susan who got it from Dave. So it's kind of been passed around um, but I was the first one to actually grow this out. Um, but that's that one there and then I've got I think this one yeah, this one here is also the, the Hobito peach. So it grows really large and it's very productive. So this is the second year that I'll be growing it. So we'll see how, how those do. Um, but I also got some extra pineapple habaneros. Uh, what else? Elysium scotch bonnets. So just a little bit of everything back there in that corner. And then in the solo cups, um, I've got the, the pineapple habaneros in here, which, and I've talked just about everything in here. Um, and then we've got a yellow ghost. So the yellow ghost is looking really nice. I haven't topped that one. I don't think, no, I didn't top that one yet. Um, but I have topped most of the other peppers in here. And then these purple ones, these are my Peter Reapers. So it's the cross between a peach or a California peach reaper and a Peter pepper. Um, and at least we think that's what it is. And those are doing really nice. The leaves are still nice and purple. They're much more purple than they were um, when I grew them last year. And then we've got the Red Fatale. So I just topped that one recently. And we've got um, Freeport Scotch Bonnet back here. Looking really nice. So I'm still having a little bit of edema issue, but it's not, it's not super bad. So I think it might be getting a little bit better. That one's got it pretty bad there. Um, so I might, I topped that, that one recently, so I may just pull off some of these really damaged leaves um, and let the other ones grow out. And then this other one, this one here has a little bit of purple in it, but it's starting to lose the purple. Um, this was the Black Panther. And what else do we have? Talked about the Red Fatale. This is the Nebru 7. So for some reason, the Nebru 7 has lighter leaves than most of the other peppers. So I've got two of those, so they're easy to spot because they're the lighter ones. And then we got, oh, that one's a Nebru 7 and that one's not as light. So I think I've got three Nebru 7s in here. So two of them are light and one's a little bit darker. And then this one here is an Alyssum Scotch Bonnet. And I topped that one fairly recently. And we've got Bohemian Beast. So that one's going to be a fun one to grow, but that one's got some new growth coming out where I topped it off. And we've also got the Lemon Starburst. So Kang Star's Lemon Starburst back here. We've got two of those. We've got that one here and I think this one here. And then we've got the Gator Jigsaw. And that's going to be a fun one too. That's going to be a green, um, green hot pepper. So I've got two of those. Another thing I was going to ask everybody is if if they know what's going on with some of these leaves. It kind of looks like they, they have almost sunburn. They've got some like dried out spots on some of the leaves and not all of the peppers have it, but um, quite a few of them do. Just some a little bit of discoloration. I don't know if it's from the LED light maybe, but I've got a lot of that going on. Just some kind of really light spots. I'm not seeing any bugs or anything in here, so I don't think it's a bug problem, but I've got it on quite a few of these plants. So if anybody knows what might be causing that, let me know. So I mentioned in a previous video, I'm only gonna be growing one of each of these varieties and I'll be selling all the rest to local um, pepper growers and gardeners. 
That's all we have for this week. Thank you for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.